Hi everyone and welcome back, I bet it is for you TV, the Champions League is back and we are back to give you more tips on tonight's matches. We have Porto against Chelsea but also last year final uh, repeat, or the repeat of last year final between Bayern and Paris Saint-Germain. We have plenty of tips in the show, we will go to our Premier League expert Robbie Billund to get some tips on uh, Porto against Chelsea. But also we're going to mainline Europe to speak with our local expert Lucas and Proni who will give us more tips on uh, uh, Serie A as, uh, and La Liga as there are more games uh, in midweek. Lucas and Proni won a nice bet yesterday uh, so uh, let's hope they can give us more uh, winning tips uh, this week. Make sure you subscribe so you don't lose anything. All you need to do is to log in into your YouTube account and click on the red button subscribe. In this way you will make sure you access all our uh, videos. And also if you hit the bell you will also get notifications every time our new video is released so you don't miss out in, uh, on the great tips which you won't find anywhere else, not in our website or in our Twitter feed. In addition to that, always remember we put all the links uh, of the bets that we suggest here, I bet it's for you TV, in the description below. So that you just need to click on the link to load the bets on the bookmakers that we suggest. And we normally suggest bookmakers based on the odds that are uh, available. We, we try to pick the bookmakers that have the biggest odds at the moment. Obviously, odds are subject to change, so always double check them before betting. But let's move on now with the show, so we have quite a lot to go through. We will start with the bet of the day from our expert here, Bet This For You TV, on the big match of tonight in the Champions League between Bayern and Paris Saint-Germain. After that, we will go to Robbie Billund and uh, Lucas Emproni, as I said before. So let's start with the bet of the day on uh, Bayern v PSG. So obviously this is, uh, as I said before, the rematch of uh, August's Champions League final in which Bayern Munich came up on top. Paris Saint-Germain uh, coming into this match looking for revenge, but uh, it's not going to be easy uh, for several reasons. First of all, Mauricio Pochettino's side are not in good shape. They coming into this match on the back of a defeat, a painful defeat in uh, uh, the League One as the League On. Uh, as you would say in French, uh, as they lost 1-0 to Lille uh, in what was a top uh, two clash. Uh, so they will not be in a good spirit. And uh, on the other end, things went a lot better for Bayern, who managed to defeat second place Leipzig away from home uh, on Saturday and move seven points clear at the top of the Bundesliga. It looks like once again, Hansi Flick's side have got the title in Germany, so they will come into this match keen to, uh, to, to show that uh, they are ready to defend their titles in the best possible way. One thing I should say uh, is that Bayern managed to win against Leipzig even without by, uh, um, their main striker Robert Lewandowski. That was the seventh consecutive win for Bayern, which showed that they are not pushovers even without Lewandowski, and that would be a worry for uh, Paris Saint Germain. In addition to that, Bayern coming to this match having won 18 of the last 19 matches in the Champions League. And that also includes a 7 2 hammering of Mauricio Pochettino's Tottenham. So this won't be a very nice reunion for a Paris Saint Germain boss, which will fear the worst, considering how badly uh, Paris Saint-Germain played in the weekend uh, and also despite they managed to overcome Barcelona in the last round they didn't look convincing in the return match either so in addition to that uh, Bayern Munich have won uh, all the games at home in Europe since September 2019 so it's difficult to see an upset here and probably the value is to um, is to go for Bayern Munich also considering that Paris Saint-Germain defeated the Barcelona side in the previous round that in the first leg was in terrible shape. So the French champions after all have had hard time stepping up in this competition even when they were doing very well in, in France and we believe that once again they will uh, fall in short in this, in this huge test against a Bayern Munich in, in great form. 
After all, Paris Saint-Germain have a manager that has a reputation a little bit too falling short. So we do expect Bayern to win this match. Uh, it's not going to be a one-way affair, though. Paris Saint-Germain definitely have the, the power and the class in Mbappé and, uh, and, and other top strikers to cause some problems to Bayern Munich and also considering that Bayern Munich haven't been very, very solid at the back, even if they've improved recently. In fact, uh, the Bavarians have seen both teams to score in six of the last seven matches in all competitions. And also, um, the both teams to score uh, was uh, landed also in the previous round when uh, Paris Saint-Germain, uh, sorry, Bayern Munich took on Lazio. So we do expect Paris Saint-Germain to register, but Bayern Munich should be on top. So our bet of the day for uh, Bayern Munich against Paris Saint-Germain is uh, uh, Bayern Munich to win and both teams to score. Now let's move on to uh, Robin Bilund that will give us more tips for this Wednesday. I can see that Robin is already connected with us. So, Robin, that's over to you. Hi, everyone. We are back again, and it's another fully packed uh, schedule for all of us who love football. Wednesday night brings us some amazing games from all over Europe, where we have Porto against Chelsea, which is being played in Seville in Spain. Take note of that. And also, of course, the big game of the night, which is the exact same game as was the final in the Champions League last season, FC Bayern against PSG from France. And uh, it's, of course, a new manager in the PSG side. We have Pochettino instead of Thomas Tuchel. We also have a FC Bayern team that are missing out on Robert Lewandowski in this game. And that will, of course, have an impact on them. But uh, how much? Yes, that is what we have to figure out. But we start in uh, Spain, in Seville, where Porto are the home uh, side against Chelsea in this first leg. The replay game will also be played in Seville, uh, but still we saw the same with Liverpool against Leipzig. Both games played in Budapest, for example, and it is a strange season in many ways. We do know that. Um, Chelsea have looked so, so solid under Thomas, uh, Thomas Tuchel. Uh, they barely conceded a goal. They were winning pretty much every game. They looked very, very good against uh, Atletico de Madrid in the last round of the Champions League. But ahead of this, they are coming into the game with a 5-2 defeat against West Bromwich from Saturday. Uh, of course, impacted with a red card on Thiago Silva, but still conceding five goals have, of course, left Thomas Tuchel with a lot of questions ahead of this game. Um, I think that will mean that he goes even more back to his basics. He will try to set up that defense. They will have to want to control the game, want to find the stability again. Some players who had played a lot in the international um, window, they were rested against West Brom. They will, of course, be in the team again here uh, against Porto. And this will be all about controlling, setting up the defense again. And I think this is a bang on under 2.5 goals. We won't see many chances. We will definitely not see many goals. So our Wednesday double starts with under 2.5 goals in Porto against Chelsea. Our next bet for that double is uh, from the FC Bayern game against PSG, of course. And here is pretty much the opposite. We have two teams that knows how to score goals. Of course, PSG, they were held to a 1-0 defeat against Lille. And now they are actually struggling in the league. Um, it would, of course, be a huge blow if they weren't to win the league. But at the end of the day, their season will be all down to how good they will do it in the Champions League. We saw how good they were on their best day when they pretty much trash, trashed Barcelona in the first leg. And they have, of course, the highs to do that again with players like Neymar and Mbappé, especially. And uh, I think both teams will score here uh, before the 1-0 loss here in the weekend. The PSG had scored seven goals from the last two games against both Lille and Lyon, which is really good sides. And of course, FC Bayern, they are always scoring goals. So... Both teams to score in Bayern against uh, PSG is combined with under 2.5 in Porto against Chelsea. And that is a double that we are backing with medium confidence in terms of our scale. And that means uh, that it's 
fairly likely and we have a lot of confidence in it, um, but we are not pushing all the bets up to the top. Um, our best bet of the day is more of a high risk stake. But when we look at the situation, we were talking about a very low scoring game that we are expecting from Seville where Porto is up against Chelsea. Chelsea will probably do all they can to just control this. They want to find their balance again. And we know that they have problems in terms of goal scoring as well. So it will be a lot about setting their structure up and if they could pull off a nil-nil draw, I think they will be happy. And to be honest, pretty much Porto will be happy as well. They will play at the same venue a week later and they will have the chance to get away goals instead. So nil-nil uh, is a um, correct score result that we are having as our best bet of the day. It's more of a high risk than we are used to, um, but we think this is good value and we won't be missing out on that. So um, nil-nil as the correct score in uh, Porto against Chelsea. That's our bet of the day for Wednesday and we wish you as always the best of luck. Thank you very much Robin and let's hope that we can get more winning coming from you. Robin has been in fantastic form in the last month so um, we are all waiting and hoping to get more winning bets. Now let's move on to Italy where uh, uh, our uh, Italian expert Lucas Emproni is ready to give us some tips because there is Serie A and La Liga action this Wednesday in addition to the Champions League. So let's go over to Luca and uh, that's over to you Luca. Ciao Simone, come al solito benvenuti a tutte le persone che ci seguono su Bet Dips for You. Oggi vogliamo uh, giocare una doppia, una partita al campionato italiano e una partita dal campionato spagnolo. Campionato italiano, Juve-Napoli, recupero del campionato di Serie A. La, le due squadre vengono a due momenti differenti. La Juve infatti è in un momento di difficoltà perché ha ottenuto un pareggio, una sconfitta e tre vittorie nelle ultime cinque. 2 a 2 l'ultima con il Torino dove sta di svantaggio una Juve insomma, che sta andando molto male deve vincere questa partita perché perdendo rischia addirittura la posizione Champions dopo 9 scudetti consecutivi il lavoro di Pirlo fino ad oggi non è assolutamente, non è sicuramente un buon lavoro la Juve però in casa ha una media di 2 gol a partita il Napoli invece viene da un ottimo momento vanno fatti veramente complimenti a Gattuso che dopo un periodo difficilissimo dove aveva avuto problemi di salute dove comunque sembrava essere stato scaricato al presidente Ralentis eh, il Napoli si è ripreso ha eh, ottenuto 4 vittorie e un pareggio nelle ultime 5 in particolare adesso viene da 4 vittorie consecutive e ha vinto con squadre importanti fuori casa ha vinto a Roma, ha vinto a Milano con il Milan eh, il Napoli 62 gol è il terzo attacco della Serie A 1,8 gol di media a partita fuori casa subisce però anche molto il Napoli perché ecco l'ultima partita ha vinto 4 a 3 con il Crotone e, eh, un gol decisivo di Lorenzo dove il Napoli è stato recuperato sul 3 a 3 quindi sono due squadre Napoli e Juve che segnano ma che in questo momento subiscono anche ecco perché vogliamo giocare il gol di entrambi Mentre l'altra partita è Real Sociedad Atletic Bilbao, qui invece vogliamo scommettere sull'Under 2-5, anche qui il recupero dei campionati, il recupero della Liga, la Real Sociedad deve vincere perché vincendo otterrebbe il quinto posto che vuole dire Europa League, invece è lontanissimo il quarto del Siviglia, ormai sembra essere sicuro del posto uh, Champions, avendo vinto anche con l'Atletico Madrid. La società che viene da due sconfitte, due vittorie e un pareggio nelle ultime cinque ha in casa una media di un gol e sette a partita e ecco una squadra comunque è stata abbastanza equilibrata nell'arco dell'anno ha una buona eh, difesa, gioca bene il Real Sociedad la Tarek Bilbao invece tre pareggi, una sconfitta e una vittoria nelle ultime cinque è una squadra difficile da, uh, da battere perché è una squadra che difende bene ma segna poco decima in classifica come vi dicevo appunto ha una media fuori casa di 0,9 gol a partita quindi di nemmeno un gol a partita fuori casa ecco perché vogliamo giocare l'under 2 e 5 ricapitolando quindi la nostra doppia è Juve Napoli gol di entrambi e Real Sociedad Atletico Bilbao under 2 e 5 vogliamo dare un livello di confidenza 3 a questa giocata perché ecco secondo me ci sono buone probabilità che questa doppia 
possa entrare. Quindi livello di confidenza 3. Nel ricordare come al solito di giocare responsabilmente, auguro un buon calcio a tutti e di dotte la linea Simone. Thank you very much Luca and uh, we are all very happy as on Monday night uh, Luca deliver a great double which uh, actually the double was on a Sunday and Monday. He had one game from Sunday uh, which was the under 2.5 in Sevilla against Atletico and the under 3.5 in Barcelona v uh, Valladolid. The analysis was perfect, the tip was spot on and we managed to land and bring that home. So let's hope we can get more winning bets from uh, Italy and from Luca. That concludes our show for Wednesday. We will be back uh, with more tips for the Europa League. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. You hit the bell so you will get notifications as well when new videos are released and you will ensure that you're not missing any of our tips. So um, that concludes our show for today. The only thing I would say is that we always back the tips uh, from our expert because we know how much effort they put into it. And so far we've been very, very blessed. And we hope that we can continue winning bets uh, with, our, with the tips of our experts. So we'll continue to back them. That's really all for now. I hope you enjoy the football, the Champions League, the Serie A, the Liga, whatever is in your interest. If you decide to place, to place bets, uh, I wish you great luck. But most importantly, always, always remember to gamble responsibly. Bye now.